Hello, this is Nicholas MKN from YouTube, and today I'll be making an ABC cover like this one, and I'll be using a photo from Google Images, which is this one right here, which is next to it. Alright, so let's get started. This is a voiceover too, by the way. So first we'll open up Photoshop and start opening, make a new document. I'm leaving the preset at HDTV 1080p because I'm able to crop it down later. Alright, what we're going to do here is we're going to bring down a guideline to about 20%. I, for some reason, I clicked on a uh, paint bucket and I chose my color, which is this right here. And what I'm going to do is use the rectangle tool to add the bar into the document. And this is what's going to create the bar. And we're just going to drop the color down. And to stay organized, I like to rename my layers because it makes it easier at the end when you're working with multiple layers and merging them. Alright, so next I'm going to add my text. For the text, you just the font I'm using is Helmet. I think it comes standard on Windows and Mac PCs. And I'm kind of fast forwarding through this to speed up the video. And I'm changing the color on the Ultra to the exact same color as the bar and the 10. Same color. What I'm going to use is, I'm going to click on Trans, Control, click on it and then leave the bar main layer selected and then click delete and what that's going to do is it's going to remove the selected trance area from the bar and then I will hide the trance layer like that okay and right here is I'm going to double click on that layer and to bring up layer styles I'm going to add a drop shadow just sorta of, you can use these drop uh, styles or I mean this drop shadow but also remember to turn use global light off because it affects all the shadows. So you can follow these presets or whatever, and that's pretty much about it. Remember, you can make these your own settings or whatever. Okay, so now that we're done with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in that image of a lady I got from Google Images. I do give him full credit, I did not take this photo, even though I did remove his copyright, I know that's like wrong with that, I'm a photographer, so kind of understandable, but yeah, it's just for video purposes only, so hopefully he don't trip, if he does, ooh, my bad. So right now, right here, I'm lining up the photo when I drag down Ultra Trance and the 10 and the bar. So right here, I just drop it down. I think I removed the crop right here too, the copyright, with the rectangle tool. And I have to rasterize the layer first. I always rasterize your layer, usually, except text layer sometimes. Okay, right here is what I'm going to use a quick selection tool on to highlight her, really the area where the bar is going to go behind her. And I'm going to duplicate this layer by pressing Control J, which is going to make a copy of what's being duplicated. Feather it out a little bit so it's not a sharp edge or anything. I wasn't going for perfection in this one because it's just, you know, a video to kind of help you all out. You can find soon it on your own. And when I created that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to the very top. So now I can control, I can select all the other layers and start bringing the images behind her. And boom, there you go. Now when I think I did crop this, it was a tight crop, but you can work with it. So right here, this is the image where I start cropping, cropping it out. Um, and it was pretty close, but this is pretty much how I liked it, but the other one, the one I did with the blue is the one I liked the best though. It will have more area around the tin and the ultra and the trance and more around her shoulder, I think. So this is where I crop it at right here and I just double click on it and boom, pretty much about done. Right here is where I add more of a get the color in order to get the color I'm adding levels hues and everything else and that's just a personal preference 
right there and you just do it how you want to oh yeah I almost forgot for adding the gray border that's what I want to do right here I'm adding the gray border <laughs> so I'm using the gradient tool from black to transparent and I'm just dragging it from the outside in and I'm just going around the side and that's just giving it that little square vignetta or vignette I forgot how to say it yes yeah, just giving you that and it adds to the little I give it I say it adds like a little pop and make it give you it makes that direct attention directly at her eyes like on uh, this photo and other photo it really adds to it and I'm just adding hue and saturation and levels and brightness and contrast so yeah that's pretty much it you can just pretty much watch the rest and try your own thing out and post a comment uh, hopefully I'll have a microphone and I won't be rushing because I'm on my way to work. I'm almost on my way to work. I'm just getting ready. And while I'm waiting for some clothes to dry, I thought I'll just make this uh, voiceover. So it's January 7th, and I'm just doing a voiceover right now. And it's 2013, so it's, see where I've been at. Kind of busy. School starts tomorrow for me, college. So, yeah. All right, and yeah, that's about it. Now, also, I have just an extra part in this video, because the video is pretty much about done. And this is pretty much an extra part where I'm going to show you how to get the lines in the uh, photo. I mean, in the bar and the ultra. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. And if you would like to, you can finish watching the rest of the video to see how I got the lines in, or you can end it right here and try your own thing out. Thanks.